Cairo, a city of 20 million people, but also more than 2 million stray dogs. The animals and the people of Cairo live side by side, but not always in perfect harmony. I'm an Egyptian filmmaker. My friends call me Soli. And I've often wondered what life is really like for these unwanted animals. This curiosity took me on an unexpected and unplanned journey, meeting people and visiting places I never imagined possible. But the story starts here, at home in Cairo, with people who rescue stray animals. البوست 15 دي بقى له 15 دقيقة عمل 490 كومنت هقول ابعته لك كاتب هو ممكن تبعتي لي رقمك؟ ما هي واحدة بقى ردت عليه قالت له ممكن ما شافتش الكومنت بتاعك ارجوك هو شوف بقى له قد ايه نازل كده البوست 15 دقيقة عمل 490 كومنت ده كارثة يا ابني عايزين طب اي عنوان يا جدعان اي حاجه والنبي فعلا انا نزلت اتحركي على هناك طب اتحركي انت على هناك لحد ما احاول اوصل لها كده بس ان شاء الله اوصل لها حاضر حاضر ابعت The rescue team is looking for one dog in particular This animal has a rope around its neck Sometimes well meaning children attach a rope to the neck of a puppy to use it as a lead but later they abandon it Then as a dog grows, the rope shocks the animal. It's a slow but certain death. Assalamu alaikum. Basha, you have a heart here, it's connected to the heart of the heart and the heart of the heart. The heart of the heart is a heart. Is it a heart? No, it's not a heart, it's a heart of the heart. Okay, it's a heart of the heart. بلدي لا, لا كلب بلدي كلب شارع. بلدي كلب بتاع الشارع حضرتك آه. بتشوف الكلب ده؟ آه انا بشوفه بيجي لكم ده, ده كلب ضال اه اه كلب ضال اه المهم ان كلب ضال ماشي احنا عايزينه بقى ماشي حضرتك شفته بتشوفه فين؟ لا ما بشوفه انا تقريبا بشوفه هو مجموعه مؤاخذه كلاب اه طالعين يعني ما دخلش قدامك دلوقتي؟ لا دلوقتي لا بس انا تقريبا بشوفه اه يوم اه يوم لا كل يوم طيب ماشي, ماشي. شكرا السلام عليكم لا كده الدايره وسعت قوي ممكن نتكلم سهل اهو اهو كلب اهو اهو على يمينك اهو بني ده بقول لك ايه استنى استنى خليك واقف استنى 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 بالعقل بالعقل استنى واحد استنى استنى ما تنزلش لا في كلمة تانية جاية أصلا هو ده اللي أنا عايزه أنا عايزه ينام كده أنا عايز أجي واحدة ما أوصل الخطة دلوقتي لازم حد يقف في الجنينة دي لازم شبكة جوه الجنينة دي أنا ورا البتاع ده طيب ورا البتاع ده ورا الصور مين اللي هيرمي أول شبكة؟ أنا هرمي أول شبكة عليه من هنا كده مش هيشوف طول ما الحركة بعيدة عنه هو مش بيتحرك من مكانه وأنا هخش من ورا باسكت الزبالة أنا طبعاً أول ما أظهر من ورا باسكت الزبالة مش هلاقي ولا كلمة أنت أول أنت همشي بالراحة زي ما أنا بمشي ما أنا همشي بالراحة أنت شفتني هم مستوعبوني فين قريب جدا منهم أنا مش بعمل صوت خالص بالبلازما وأحاول ما تبص بقى على طوب وتعمل صوت كيس بلاستيك يعني ربنا يسترها إن شاء الله بإذن الله هتبقى دي آخر محاولة النهاردة إن شاء الله بإذن الله هنروح بيها شافوه؟ شافوه؟ في واحد جاي عليك يا عم انسي كلب هيمشي الناحية التانية خد بالك امشي الناحية التانية 
Menti, alo! Animal welfare volunteers in Cairo contact other interested people through social media. Online supporters have been following the search for the dog with the rope around its neck. But so far, no luck. السلام عليكم بتكلم ما شفتوش النهارده لا والله انا لسه مستنى دلوقتي ولا امبارح شفته امبارح اخر مره شفته لا ده هو لما كنتوا انتوا هنا بس ممكن تاخد رقمي طيب لو لو لقيته كلمني 0100 لا عارف بقى ننزل ولا ايه تعبت لا ما تعبتش بس بزعل لما بيكون في حاجه كده ومش مش عارف اعمل اي حاجه لا ده تبقى انا بفكر دلوقتي هو مثلا هو فين ممكن يكون بقى اكيد هو جعان ده رقم واحد يعني غير الجو الجميل اللي هم قاعدين فيه في الشارع عنده فرصة كويسة يتعالج طبعا يعني شبك بسرعة استنى بالراحة 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 جري ولا هنا بقى؟ لا عندي أنا هنا طب خد خد فين الشبكه؟ رامز ايوه الشبكه الثانيه فين؟ بص هنا كده انا سمعت صوت قلت لكم في صوت قلت اهو كلب بس لا بس لو طلع اكيد كنت شفتيه انت متاكد انت شفته يا احمد؟ شفته والله انتوا اول ما قلتوا في صوت حركه هناك فعيني بصت على على المكان اللي انت بتقول عليه اول ما بصيت عيني جت عليه جه ناحيه الكورنر كده في المبنى ومش عارف بقى هو هو احتار يروح يمين شمال ورا اي حاجه تصل بقى ربنا ماشي 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 ماش
together. الحمد لله كثير بعد بعد معاناة وسقعة وحرب ودوشة ومن لاقوش الحالة كان كذا حد عايز يساعدها وبتاع فبالخيس هتساعد شلتر بالخيس هيساعدها يعني اه دي حد انت تعرفه انت هتكلمها؟ اه اه كلمتها انا من ساعة ما اول ما رحت الحالة كلمتها متابع معاها من اول ما مسكناه بعد كده قالت لي وديها العيادة على طول مش هيستحمل يروح شلتر على طول حبيبي يا باشا الله يسلمك يا الله يا باشا الله يكرمك استني يا رب طيب انا قدام في الشارع اهو هدخل العياده دلوقتي ماشي انا اول ما اخلص في العياده وهتتحرك اكلمك بس هو حالته صعبه خالص يعني راسه كبيره جدا جدا هو الدكتور هيحدد بقى اذا كان حالته تستدعي يفضل بوردنج او يروح الشغل. ايه فولنتيرز كونتاكتد ا فيت تو اكزامين ذا انيمال. حلو يعني طبعا انا مسكته طيب انت They also removed the rope from around her neck. احنا خرجنا بالكلب اهو هنروح الشلتر بقى صح؟ اه 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 تمام يا لطيف هي بنت بياكل ولا هي بنت؟ هي بنت اه كان منظره صعب خالص ده بص القطر بتاع رقبته كان عامل ازاي؟ بس هي طبعا خايفه من الناس خايفه طبعا محتاجه تتعود على الناس هي يعني خايفه من اللي شافتها؟ غلبانة يعني There are only a few animal shelters in Cairo, so this dog was one of the lucky ones. بص عليه كده هو الدكتور قال لك في خلال يومين ثلاثة كده هتبتدي تحس بالورم ده بيقل حاجة كويسة يعني Okay. I'm 
يعني هتفضل في الاوضه بتاعتها ولا وبعد كده تخرجيها؟ بتخرج هي كده كده هتخرج بس بعد ما تبقى تمام وتبقى عندها انها عايزه تخرج هي مش هتخرج اصلا الفتره اه هي خايفه دلوقتي هتقعد اسبوع بالمنظر طب هو الورم اللي في الشقه ده؟ الورم في الشقه ده بيبقى حاجه اسمها قديمة اه بسبب القفله اللي حصلت طب هي 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 هينزل عن طريق الادويه اللي احنا بنديها في حاجات من ضد التهابات هينزل ياخد وقت قد ايه مثلا؟ يعني ممكن اسبوع اسبوع؟ A week later, and there was a definite improvement in the dog's condition. But she was still very frightened and was clearly in some pain. We all wanted to help her, but we knew that her recovery needed time. ما عرفتهاش لما دخلت والله العظيم اه بقول انت بدلتيها ولا ايه؟ بقول لك حاسس ان شخصياتها اتغيرت اه شخص كلب كده بقت طبيعيه شويه ايه استقرت على اسم؟ احنا ممكن نسميها ليالي ليل ليل واحد كفايه ليل واحد كفايه ده احنا شفنا ليالي هناك حلو ليالي والله ليالي حلو والله اسمه حلو انت تحسي ان هي خلاص يعني نفسيا بقت مستقر اول ما الكلب يهز ديله خلاص تعرف ان الكلب فيه تفاعل بينه وبين اللي معاه وفيه الفه بين المكان كمان I wondered about the true cost of Layla's rescue and rehabilitation had she gained her health at the price of her freedom and who would look after her in the future هي كل الكلاب المفروض كلها بدور لها على بيوت بس كل حاجه بتبقى صعبه على حسب ما بلاقي يعني وطبعا البيوت اللي انا بجيبها كلها بتبقى بره مصر يعني ما فيش حاجه جوه مصر ليه؟ اغلبيه اللي عندي بلدي ده رقم واحد ما حدش بياخد بلدي اصلا رقم اثنين ان انا حتى الكلاب البريد اللي عندي انا دي كانت حد رماها في الشارع فما عنديش ثقه ان حد تاني ياخدها وانا ابقى واثقه 100% ان هو ما ي... ما يهنهاش يعني او يعمل لها اي حاجه انت سافرتي كم كلب يا بوكي؟ مش قادرة أقول لك العدد بالظبط بس يعني ممكن 30 حاجة كده يعني بسافر يعني قطط وكلاب وفي في إنجلترا وفي أمريكا في كندا كلاب بتسافر على أساس إيه يعني يعني ليه ليه ناس أجانب بيه مهتمين إن هو ياخد كلب بلدي؟ بصوا يعني كل واحد بيبقى عشان قصته يعني بيصعبوا عليهم القصص يعني لما بيشوفوا كلب ويشوفوا قبله وبعده وحالته عاملة إزاي وهو لو راح بيت هيفرق حالته كتير As a filmmaker I had the tools and the technical knowledge to create a social media video telling Layali's story. I hope that somebody, somewhere, would agree to rehome the animal. It was a long shot, but worth a try. People all over the world viewed the video, but there was a problem. Layali's health was declining. Oh, I'm going to go to the house for 10 minutes. قصدك على البلك كله صح؟ لفخت ونشفت الاختيار الصح دلوقتي ان احنا نعمل سونار نعرف ايه اللي جوه ده علشان لو هناخد قرار الفتح آه يبقى القرار سليم تضخم في الغده الغدد اللعبيه واحدة أربعة سنتي ونص في اتنين وواحدة تلاتة في اتنين وتمانية من عشر which is كبير جدا هي عندها عرض تنفسية وعندها التهاب في الجهاز الهضمي وعندها التهاب في رقبتها وعندها تلاتة سيستمز تقريبا فيهم التهابات فده بيعمل بيطلع حاجات مواد كيميائية في الجسم تؤدي إلى الالتهاب ممكن تبص لأي الصبح ورق 
She didn't yet know it, but Laila's days in Cairo were coming to an end. She still had a severe swelling on her neck. But the better news was that a dog rescuer had offered Laili a new home in Canada. I wanted to see how this story ended. So I agreed to accompany Layali to Toronto. Layali and I were not the first to go to North America filled with hope. And we certainly wouldn't be the last. Leali is a rescue dog from Egypt. She's now starting a new life in Canada. We arrived in Toronto on a warm July afternoon. After clearing customs, Leali was ready to meet her new owners. Yeah. Yeah, she drank quite a bit when she, she got out. Yeah. I'm happy to yeah. see she's not hiding at the back of the crate. Layla? Layla. 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 Yeah. It's, it's, it's like, like all the nights that they Nights. Yeah. yeah. It's like nights. I could see changes in Layla's personality. She seemed happier. Maybe enjoying the clear Canadian air. It looked like the journey was coming to an end. All that was needed was a final visit to the vet to examine the swelling on her neck. Um, if the rope was in a location that was the swelling and damage the salivary gland, then this could be what we call um, a mucosal, which is an accumulation of saliva from a damaged salivary gland that's leaking into the area. And, and then with time, this is what happens. It could just be an abscess as well, or it could be an infected um, salivary gland problem. So I'm gonna look at it under the microscope and flush it. If the problem basically goes away, she will always have this residual pouch, right? Like it, it's just, 
you know, kind of a chronic damage that happened to her. If it goes away, the drainage goes away, we're happy. If it doesn't, then she would need a CT scan to look at all her salivary glands and find out which one is damaged, and then from there do surgery. The vet agreed to do the surgery two days later. So I have to ask you a question. How would you guys feel if we changed her name? The, the name Laylee is a beautiful name, I love it, but the, the, you know what it means and when it was given it was at the darkest point in her, at not necessarily the darkest because she was rescued already, but we're just kind of, I'm just thinking to myself, maybe a name still in your language, but um, that means maybe um, sunshine or, you know, opposite of night, you know? So it's a new beginning, new life, new name, um, you know? I don't know, just a thought, just a thought. a lot of hard spots. Okay, so uh, so I called the clinic this morning to book the mm -hmm. surgery for her, and they booked me in with the owner of the clinic for tonight at seven. So we're going there tonight at seven. I know you're working. Uh, if you're okay with it, I'll just take, me and Solly will take her. Yeah, absolutely. Then just two hours before Lely's surgery was due, she vanished from the foster home. As the filmmaker documenting the story, I was due to return home that day, but instead I joined the search party. Oh my God. It's very difficult to search for her. Oh, it's crazy. Yeah. Crazy. She's afraid of people. I left the uh, cabin, took their information. They're going to put it online on their face page. Yeah. Do they have her picture? They don't have a picture. They just took description. I don't think they have a picture. Hi, my husband just spoke to you guys about Laylee being, being missing. I have just emailed you her picture. can get more people so we can you know get a few people that way few people that way there there you know so i think it's just let's go to the next farm you check here sir? yeah why don't we go here and check out the barn yeah yeah because time is of the essence if at night it's gonna cool off she's gonna start moving somewhere not necessarily that she'll be moving away but she's gonna start wandering and just because she doesn't know the area she's gonna she might just keep going away further and further away <sighs> the search team appealed urgently for help using social media We looked in the bush alongside here, there, here at the back on this road. Um, didn't see any tracks of her. What's your name? Tara. Thank What's your you. name? Annette. Annette. I'm sorry. Oh, I had a dog. I have had him for four years, but when we first got him, oh, he hated everything about the whole new situation. He bolted and he was like a mile away and I'm looking and I couldn't do anything and he ran like a horse and right. oh, I know what it's like. Yeah, I know. She just <coughs> flew in on a Monday. Yeah, that's... So Team Chelsea is across town looking for that Brindle dog. 
Oh, for the boxer? Yeah, the and I'm like, no, no, you guys all got to come over here. Nobody knows who owns that dog. You guys are priority here. They need to all come over here. <laughs> oh, they're there now? I think there were some people headed out, yeah. The day one search revealed no trace of Layali. It was just like looking for her back in Egypt. We needed to rethink our strategy. So right now, I have the flyers printed. We're gonna go to a store and I'm gonna photocopy. So I have about 200 flyers ready to go. I'm gonna buy uh, plastic sleeves to put them in so they don't wash off if we get rain, so they're protected. Yeah. Uh, while we're in Peterborough, we're gonna go uh, and we're gonna talk to all the radio stations, uh, we're gonna talk to the newspapers, and we're gonna talk to the TV um, channel people, ask, tell them about her story mm -hmm. and ask them if they can run a story and let people know that she's out on yep. loose and, uh, and needs help finding her way back home. Just go through the messages and see what people are saying. Has anybody messaged that they've seen her? What about this, this Tom? What is he saying? Okay. Hi, Anita. I saw the post about your fostering cabin. I have a live crab. Okay. If you need it. Answer him. Say thank you, Tom. Can I get back to you later on? And possibly borrow it from you. Uh, uh, either tonight or tomorrow. Hi. Hi. I'm, I'm um, here for a cigarette. Oh, are you? Okay. Yeah. Lucky me. No, it's all right. Um, I'm from one of local animal rescues. Okay. We've had a dog flying from Egypt okay. uh, in need of a surgery here. Okay. And uh, she went missing last night. Okay. And we desperately need help um, from the local media okay. to air her story or put it on their Facebook accounts or Twitter. Right, go do it. Who would I talk to? Yeah, you're talking to the guy on the radio, so we can oh. put it on Facebook right now. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. That's just absolutely amazing. Thank mm -hmm. you. This dog has come a far way. I mean, all the way from Egypt after suffering such torture, having a, a rope embedded into its neck and desperately needing this surgery that it's finally going to get. We're really desperately trying to find her because her situation is just really urgent. So please look at the picture, share the video, and if you see her, call me. Uh, she's on medication, she needs the surgery, she's unfamiliar with the feel of grass. She, they don't have stuff like that in Egypt. So again, it's a missing dog. It's gone missing around the Cavan Monaghan area. It's at the Sire line, Tapley Quarter line is where we're assuming, but. If you see her, please do not chase her. Um, but I would love you to call me and I will anytime, day or night, and I will jump in my car and, and go there and see if we can get her back. Uh, maybe the dog has traveled further. I mean, if you're out there, if you don't have anything to do, maybe you're just going out for a hike out there in Cavan. I know a lot of people are walking around. I mean, this dog has no idea where it is, not even used to this land. I got a feel for this dog, okay? So please, everybody, if you could down there, please click share and you know, let's try to get Annette, her dog, back. now and her routine yeah. so we uh, we know where she hangs out in the mornings where she goes to rest for the day and what she does at night so right now we just need more traps so we can set up those traps in the in the areas that she walks so this was a lot easier to move around yeah no that's that's fine that's big okay oh yeah, yeah. so now when she steps on the plate yeah that's it that's the doors it. down yeah and this is the secret they like that? That's a secret. That's liquid smoke. Just 
You smell that? That gets in the air. Okay. So what you do is put it up on the on the trees, on the leaves or whatever, anything high so that the scent will carry for her. Okay. And then spread it around Sprinkle the Sprinkle around like here. Okay. I got it. Eh? Yeah. Make sure your food's in the back. Yeah. And you should be set to go. Okay. problem is what happens is when you set up a trap where people can see the dog could be there sniffing around because the dog's not just going to run up and go oh yes. look a trap he's yes. going to walk around it and around yes. it and he's going to sniff and he's going to try to get it from the outside yes. and someone goes oh, look a dog's trying to go in the trap and they stop and then dog takes off and we're right back to square one the trap has to be away and it can't be a visual otherwise we get everybody wanting to help out and push the dog in the trap. So we're gonna try to get him or get her off the road and into, into an area where she can spend her all the time she wants. So where are your traps right now? Where do you have one? One is right here. Okay. And trail into the grass. Chicken pieces here and okay. chicken in the trap. Perfect, so that's a good spot there. Looks tired too. Mm -hmm. It's time to get this dog, man. It's time. Mm -hmm. He said between three and four, the best time. That's uh, another three hours. I bet you didn't see that twist coming to your uh, documentary. <laughs> no, I was just coming for the happy ending. Right, the happy ending, yeah. quick. Da yeah. ding, da dam, bam, da. Instead, it's like, what the hell? And you know, this is worse than in Egypt, I betcha. Because it's open fields, she can go anywhere, yeah. and you can't corner nothing. Right in there. Right in there. She's stopping, right? She passed it. She's coming over here. Eh? She's walking this way. Yeah, she's going down top way. What's with this dog? I'm telling you, I was telling Sally she's not using her nose. Just like, what is she looking for if she's not hungry? She is hungry. But he says she might be getting, must be getting food too. She's looking for where she belongs. Hi Stu, she just came off of the highway, went down top the quarter line. Yes. She's in a barn, down that farm, so that's why she's coming back here every night. I just watch her, she went up through that driveway and I watch her just go into a barn. So what do we do? Without permission, we can't. The farmer will lose it if he sees us out there. But we could try walking up there quietly. Hey everybody, Kernsey here, and we're gonna try one more time with a desperate plea for your help in finding a missing dog. Laylee has been missing in the Cavan Monaghan area since Thursday. So we are setting up a, a very large trap in the location that she was seen this morning um, with a very generous permission of the gentleman that owns that property. The trap will be 12 feet long, 6 feet high and 4 feet wide with uh, laser sensors uh, and a, a live feed camera. Oh 
she's in the crap. No, she's in the trap. She's inside. Yes, she's in the trap. No, I didn't get her. We just came here to put the balls instead of the, the plates instead of the balls. She's in the trap. Okay. 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 I'll be waiting here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what a great day, eh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't no way. I'm glad, I'm glad she's here. Yeah. Yeah. Girl. Yeah. Oh, yeah the, it's the first time she uh, she wagging her tail like that. That's, That's wild. Really cool. I'm surprised she went in the trap. I I was oh. I was shocked. I didn't know what was gonna happen. Yeah. That's wicked. That in a week. That, that's a week. Well, today Saturday. A week and one day. It's ten days, and that's how long it took them in Egypt to capture her. It took them ten days, really? and they did it that night. Something's up with ten. So she must be. I don't know. She must like pet number. Just take the uh, thing, Stu, in. You want to go in first? Hey, don't. I don't want you guys to tell oh, you that. No. Don't let her out. Oh, it, <laughs> it's been a long 10 it. days. It's, <laughs> it's not going to happen. He's going in. I'm going to shut this Just here. Just got to tell you. Yep. <laughs> Baby. You're okay. You're okay. You're okay. You're okay now. Dinner, I'll bring this Good in. Good girl, baby. Look at that. Yeah. That's just the most completely insane thing. So completely unexpected turn of events, it's just insane. I mean, in my wildest dreams, I could never come up with anything like this. A dog escapes for the second time and again is gone for 10 days and 10 nights. Mm -hmm. But finally she's back. Yes. Yeah. She's back, comfortable, relaxing. She ate her breakfast. She had her medication. She drank lots of water. She uh, went outside to sniff things. She does smell, I think she does smell a little bit because she was putting her nose down to the ground and spots where other dogs were using as bathrooms. So I think she maybe can sniff a little bit, can smell. She met all our dogs um, and a couple cats. Yeah. And she did fine. She did really good with Darwin, who's the most dominant. And uh, he tried to tell her that he's the one in charge and she took it like a little champ. Hi, do you see her? The neck is well, uh, is less swollen. Um, so it's good um, and uh, they will recommend us to a different clinic so they can do CT scan on her neck and see what needs to be done so the neck doesn't swell up. I, I don't know what I say but uh, I'm very lucky and very lucky oh. to have you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so we will be, uh, I think what I'm gonna do now because there's just such a big following and, uh, and people want to know how is she doing and I'm sure they'll be asking me next days or you know weeks. Uh, so I'm gonna create a page for Leali uh, and it's, uh, it's gonna be, and people that uh, want to know they can follow the page and we'll be posting updates and videos and all that stuff on that page. I can see how fitting her name is. We wouldn't change it for anything. I think the name is perfect. It's her name and it's her. Yeah. Just make sure we're not uh, to escape again. That's exactly right. Yeah, because I'm exactly not coming again. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not doing this again. 
I enough. think yeah, <laughs> you've had enough. Yeah, Trust me, I've had enough too. Um, <sighs> no, no, I don't want to go through that again. I don't want to go through that again. So yes, I, she's not escaping. Trust me, she's not escaping from me. <sighs> okay. No. hear from Annette about the amazing journey of Laylee the dog. Hey girls. Hi there girls. Peachy. Hi baby girl. Hi. Lyell, don't do that. <laughs> What is this Layali white stuff? What is this white fluffy stuff? You like it? I think she likes it. Yes, I think so. <laughs> Look, you have snow on your face, Layali. 